After he lost a Super Bowl bet, Phoenix Suns player Cam Johnson held up his end of the bargain today. He and Mikel Bridges wagered that the loser would have to run a lemonade stand for charity if their team lost. Yeah, so Cam did it. Um, he did it with a Bengals jersey on. He didn't go down without a fight. <laughs> today, hundreds of fans showed up for the event. Fox 10's Bailey Miller joins us live with more. He got a, last, a couple of last digs in. Yeah, he did, and it turned out to actually be a really fun event for everyone there. So I think it was a win for everyone involved just because they got to see some of the fans and interact with them, and no one expected the line to be this long wrapped around the park. Everyone there to see their favorite Suns player and also to get a little bit of lemonade. Next, next. More than 1,000 fans crowding into Los Olivos Park in Phoenix, lining up to see their favorite player hold true to his word. Uh, lemonade, one lemonade, one lemonade, one lemonade, please. Cam Johnson, Phoenix Suns forward, serving up the lemonade for fans one by one. This after he lost his bet to teammate Mikel Bridges. Bridges bet the Rams would win the Super Bowl, Johnson rooting for the Bengals. We all know who lost, but it turns out this was actually the biggest win for Suns fans. But unfortunately, they lost, so we're all here for the lemonade stand. Just to be actually to, able to say hi to them and meet them in person, because we're like huge fans of the Suns. So. Just being able to interact with them will be the best thing. Yeah. With the line wrapping around the park, Johnson never expected this kind of turnout. You know, we'll be there for an hour. Maybe we'll get like 60, 100 people. A person a minute will show up, you know, people catch wind of it, maybe a couple more. And I got a text at like 2 o'clock. Oh, there's 300 people outside. They're vegan cookies? Are they vegan? <laughs> no, they ain't vegan. <laughs> Hell no. I don't want no cookie, man. I want lemonade. I want it for Even Chris Paul showing up to order some lemonade from his teammates, too. Johnson says after so long of not interacting with fans due to the pandemic, this was a much needed treat. Just for lemonade, you know, it's, it's, uh, it, it means a lot to me. Um, you know, I've loved playing in the city since the moment I got here. I've loved living here. Um, and these people are a big part of that, a big reason why. Proceeds going to charity and they were able to raise $5,000 for those Phoenix Suns charities. Reporting live here in Phoenix, I'm Bailey Miller, Fox 10 News. Yeah, Bailey, it's pretty amazing. It was such a big turnout. Did they say anything about will they do something like this again? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it was such a great turnout and they also just mentioned because COVID and they haven't been able to interact with fans, as I mentioned in the story, that it was just such a treat for everyone to be able to really get to spend time together rather than just at a game. So I think maybe, hopefully, because a lot of people really liked it. Yeah. Yeah, That's they raised some idea. money. That's yeah. great. Thanks, Bailey. Yeah.